Hi, this is Sherry Veronica, and with me in studio is Vashti, Vashti. and she is a she is a very good friend of Diana. Diana, yes. what's Diana's Clark? Diana Clark. Yes. So she wants Diana. to get yeah, she wants to give a background because nothing starts when you become an adult. Things start in childhood, and she wants to give you a background of what Diana has been through in this life here on this earth, living in yes. Barbados. Welcome into the studio, Vashti. Yes, Chair Veronica. Good evening. Um, I'm here calling from in my kitchen here in Canada. I just got home from work, and I, I follow your blogs, and I saw something in my blog about Diana, and all oh, my blood pressure just rise. All of my blood pressure just rise. I just turned 59 years old, and I'm old enough to be Diana's mother and more. Diana didn't ask for this, Sherry Veronica. She didn't ask for this. Mm -hmm. Diana came up with her mom, Julia. And when Diana was sitting her 11 plus exam, Diana's mom, Julia, hold her back from going to Christchurch Girls School and would not let her sit the exam, telling her that she's too stupid. And children that were more stupid than her, they passed for Parkinson, they passed for all other schools, but she could have had a chance. But her mom denied her from that chance. So here we go, Veronica. After that, Diana's mom was a bit promiscuous and she had her flings and it seems all over scarborough and the neighborhood that diana's mom's friends or her boyfriends were promiscuous with that little girl wow with that little girl wow diana she grew up in a home like that so after it went on like that diana became a teenager, seeing what her mom did, as you know, a child is like an animal. Oh, I, I, say that all, I say that all the time. Yes, go ahead. What it sees, Sherry Veronica, it does. Exactly. So if, a child, if a child comes up in that kind of home where there's a lot of different individual and men in and going and to see your mom, and you can't expect what you can expect from that, a child can come out doing Bible lessons. Exactly. She won't. Exactly. She won't. She will come out doing what she sees going on. Exactly. Exactly. So after that, Diana's mom, Julia, died. It was said in the neighborhood, I don't know, I'm not a doctor, that Julia died with HIV. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Diane, a child that she didn't like, she treat all her boys. She has two sons. One works at the hospital, an ambulance driver, and she has another son that married to a Guyanese woman. I would not put their names, but they know who they are. Those two boys, she had her heart for. And you see when she took sick, when Julia took sick, Diana came back from off the streets because her mom used to put her in a little shed in the yard like you put cows to live in. And that's where Diana had to live. So when Diana mom got sick, Diana refused to put on gloves to clean her mom. Piss, vomit, stool, whatever. Diana, whore, she thief, she scummed us, she did whatever she had, but she buried her mom so that nobody in the neighborhood wouldn't talk about that, you know? She didn't have nothing to bury and stuff, and Diana buried her mom. After that, Diana lived in the house. She went to prison. I went to I was at home. I went back home for three months, and I was by Diana every day. Diana was pregnant with a, a, a little baby, and she had a daughter that the court, the magistrate, she, 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 that little girl was rude and damn wicked, 
and that little girl get put down in um some place down in St. Lucie, I went to the court to try to beg the magistrate on her behalf. I wanted that when she come out of the, the, the magistrate at our first court said, it's no maybe about it. She's going down for the three years. And she went down and I wanted to bring her up here to Canada for to give her a chance at a life. And I don't know what Diana decided, but the girl came out. When the girl came out from um, the three years, Diana was in prison. But before Diana went to prison, it ain't nothing that Diana didn't used to send for that child down in that penitentiary for that three years. And when she come up, to court, Diana used to cook. I used to come down and help her fry the fish and help her cook the rice and help her to do everything so that that little girl would get home, cook food to, to eat on her way going back down in the bus. Diana's a good mom. Mm -hmm. Apart from everything that she is, she's only human, you know? And Diana loves her kids. So when they talk about, when her kids talking about stealing I think her son cursed, I was there at her house. So her son cursed her so bad. And when he finished cursing her mom and telling her how he would shoot her and how he would do this, he went in her pot and eat and he didn't put a cent to know that she get food. Those children are ungrateful, Veronica. Yeah. They are ungrateful. Right. They are very ungrateful. And I'm here in my kitchen in tears. Because I begged Diana to go look for a job. I tell everybody in Scab are getting little jobs with weed worker at the go and get a job. Just step up your little image and go and get a job and it will work out. I all Diana do is skin her mouth and skin her teeth. But when Ever it finish and she go and rob men, she go and do this, she go and do it to pay a light bill, to pay a water bill, to, to buy food, to do everything for her kids, to eat and drink that don't help her do nothing. Mm -hmm. They don't even respect their mom, Veronica. So her kids, her kids are a result of this, they've been to prison, they, they have they been to prison, the boys have been to prison? Yes. Yes, before after I leave home, after I leave to come back to Canada, her son went to prison for a long, long time to something to do with guns and robbing people. Mm -hmm. Just there the other day in um, St. Joseph, I think someone called me and told me that her two kids get hold in a house with drugs, mm -hmm. cocaine, weed and a lot of pills mm -hmm. and they were back before the court oh, again okay. so her children can't talk about their moms because they're in the same penitentiary as her spending time okay. all of them together all five of them all five of them are known to the courts Two, three of them okay Three of them. Okay. The girl, the little wicked girl that I told you spend the time down in um Saint Lucy. Somewhere down in Saint Lucy. And then there's my godson and there's another little one. The, uh, the last son that she has was really, really nice. I don't know how he get involved in crime. Mm -hmm. Okay. But she has a little baby daughter. Uh, 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 it could be about five years old or something like that. Diana come out of prison and got pregnant with that child. And then the man refused to support it and stuff. She had to do stuff on her own. Then when she went to prison, I heard that the last little boy, his girlfriend and the mom took the child because the child really needed someone to take care of them. And the brother is just a boy. Mm -hmm. So his girlfriend and the mom took care of the child and then I heard that the real baby daddy's mom had the child and all kinds of things. I can't keep track of it. Right. But what I'm saying is that Diana's kids should be treating her better than that. Okay. It is sad. It's really, really sad. Her children, her two kids, three kids, the two boys and a girl is the same criminal as her. They're going to the same up, up, um, her, my 
not just she is where we're in yeah, as yeah. her. But she has two that are working that you said, you know, so what about them? They can take they can help her, can't they? Or should or, or maybe could I don't know. They are working. The two boys they are working how you know the work is. They are doing their thing to make money but not legit work. Okay. Okay. I wouldn't go into details. Okay, about that's that. okay. That's but, okay. Uh, she experienced said to get money, but he never said how. Right, right. So if they if they want that road to go in to, to get their thing, I I I'm not discrediting what nobody want to do. I just come from mopping and sweeping somebody's place right. to get my money. And yes. I know where my money is gonna come from right. the next two weeks. Yeah. I'm sure of it. So my point is to rule that Diana doesn't deserve this. She getting ridiculed from the public, from the judicial system, but she doesn't deserve this from her kids. If I had been doing all of those things to, to take care of my kids, my kids will have to be good to me. Then my kids will have to stop me from doing all that, get legit jobs and put me and take care of me. If they are really my kids and really care about me. Hmm. And even if they're not doing legit jobs and they're looking for their money and doing everything, they should not put, throw their mother under the bus. But when she had that last child that you say is five years old, she had just gotten out of prison probably. So did she have a job did she have a job that she could have supported herself and a child? No, she went back to robbing old men as usual. And Veronica, this is something that's got me too, right? The old men does want Robin. They does I can't do it, but they does want Robin because they know her, they know everything. Cause Barbara, this is only one hundred and sixty six square miles and they read papers, they hear everything. Internet got everything covered. These men does want her to rob them. Okay. Don't get too much into it. Okay. 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 Yeah. Because they just want her, and she does be up to her shenanigans. Yeah. So everybody just play their part. Exactly. But only when they get robbed, they just go to police. Right, right, right. I'm not saying that what Diana does is right. I'm not saying it. I, I would not say that. What I'm saying is that the men that she goes with know her. Right. And they know what she's about. Yeah. So it goes, you scratch my back and thing. But when they get the wrong scratch, they just complain to police. Right, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So anything, so let's end it. Let's, let's um, end this. Um, anything else you want to say in... So you think that you think that has she been born to a, a different household, a, a caring, caring household? That Diana would be a different person. Right. So all the kids know is what they grow up and see mm -hmm. she doing. Just like she grew up and saw her mom doing. Mm -hmm. So then the kids can't throw her under the bus because, you know, they should be helping their mom out now so that she won't do that. So do you think, do you think that there's any way within her, her power, I guess I should say, that she can make, is there any turning point? Is, is there no turning point where you can say, okay, enough of this, enough of this kind of life. Uh, I want. Sherry, mm. Veronica, I like Diana. I had Diana's little boy at my house in Carrington Village from a baby. Diana left him with me. And after she did, used to come and check for me and the thing, I contacted her mom and um, I took the boy up to her mom. But what you're, who, what you're describing is not a good mother, though. What you're describing is really not a good... You say she's a good mother. You said that earlier. But what you're describing does not sound like a good mother. It, 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 it don't seem like a good mother to me, but 
her good is, is, is her good. Her good and my good is two different goods because I raised kids to myself. I raised kids to myself, Veronica. And I had a son who used to give me shit in my life. And I do everything in my power so that that kid will become a good kid. And when I leave Barbados, I come come to Canada, I beg that child not to get in trouble because his back pop gone. And I got a check for my life. And my kid hear me. He heard me. And he was a man. He heard me. So I think anybody can change if they want to. Mm -hmm. Anyone can. Mm -hmm. Anyone can change. Look, you know what I wanted for Diana? I wanted to bring her up to Canada. I know she handles money. I said, Diana, get your passport and get a plane ticket and come and visit me. You know, to see if the environment change, she would, you know, get a different perspective at life mm -hmm. because she's not dead. So that means she has hope. She mm -hmm. has hope. Mm -hmm. She's not dead. When you're dead and you don't have life, there's no hope. But as long as you have, have life and you want help, God said he's help. Does she, want, does she want help? Does she want help? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, look, I, I, right now, I am lost for words, but what pissed me off is that I understand that her kids put her before you to ridicule her about her, about her, 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 um, you know, her. Yeah, but, but the person was saying that they want, they want the, that they want her to turn that corner. Well, if, if she, if, listen, if the kids start to help her, she will get to turn that corner. She needs her kids to help her, and she will get that corner turned. God will put things in place for she to get help. But her kids can't really go her and throw her under the bus. Okay. You understand where I'm coming from? Yeah, I, I hear you. Yeah. It, 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 you know... It, it makes me feel look, so sick that you could do all these things for your kids and you know that, they, but that's the only way you got to feed them and, 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 and you're doing it. That's what she said to herself. That's the only choice she has and she's doing it. Although she get incarcerated for many different circumstances like that, she still come back up because that's the only way she know. Mm -hmm. I asked her to go to minister ask the magistrate to beg a minister to get you a job maybe if you get a job and you know where money is coming from it, maybe you'll see things different does she but, believe that does does diana believe in god i don't know i don't know i don't know okay I, I spend about three months with her, and I get really cool. The neighbors curse me, although they know me. I raise up there from a baby. They curse me and tell me how I come back from Canada, guy robbing men with Diana. But I was there just trying to put her in the right path, mm -hmm. and she was pregnant. And when I cook at my daughter, I would bring down food for her. You know, sit, sit down and chill out with her. Right. And, so, and, and she didn't used to go and do nothing wrong at that time. I don't know when I gone, she used to go and do stuff wrong. But at that time, she was being a good girl. And whatever she do, she involve her kids. Cooking, making sure bills get paid, everything for them, for them. And they were controlling their own money and never give her a cent to do nothing. Okay. All right. Sherry, yeah. Uh, it yeah. was speaking to you. Yeah. I just wanted you to get a, a better idea of Diana and what's going on. I, 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 I'm not here to judge. Right, right. Judge yeah, but, but sometimes when something what you described happened to her in childhood from her mother's boyfriends that's a big big window that closes there, there are a lot of stages in your life 
that if you don't have those windows open to move through them smoothly and those windows are closed, you are locked in. You could be locked. She, 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 she's probably thank locked in, you know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's exactly what happened to Diana. And I don't know. Her mother says she's stupid, but Diana's not stupid. She's not stupid. She knows right from wrong. I don't know. I don't know what help she can. Maybe the help she need is not in Barbados. If she was here in this old world, I know there's a lots of different tools and lots of different resources. Mm -hmm. and, and people would try with her. Right. But there, I don't know how much, you know, what, what, what will happen. Of course, uh, of no course. I, 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 I understand Barbados. I study Barbados. Study. You can't, you can't get any help. Yeah. If you were a rich man's daughter or had godfather somewhere, maybe. Yeah, but yeah. Like that, you can't get help yeah. like that. It's a dead she end. It's a dead end. It's, it's where people went to buy slaves. It's a dead end. I understand it right. very well. So that's why I was trying to get her to, to come up here to Canada. And you know what? Just come and travel. And I tell her, look, you got money. And you could buy some stuff and take back home and sell. Because she had a little tray in front of the house selling little snacks. Mm -hmm. I said, well, hang little clothes in the veranda. Mm -hmm. And you just got a lot of girls and things. And you would be able to sell little things. And think, try, try something. Try something. Mm -hmm. But you know what? As soon as I leave, yes, I can do it, I can do it. But as soon as I leave, I heard she was back in prison and all mm -hmm. kind of things. And I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't deal with it. Mm -hmm. I can't deal with it. Okay. Well, I want to thank you. I want to thank you. Person, I am a person, like, I like to try with people that everybody give up on. I just see something good in them. When everybody else sees you bad stuff i just see something that good and i like to try with people that everybody give up on because sometimes those people does just want a little push veronica mm -hmm. and they just get out mm. so i don't know okay but well, you have a lovely evening thank and you. you got my number yes i do and anything that i hear that it's my blood I will be back again in, in studio okay thank you very much thank you very much Vashti this is share go ahead are you saying something because um right is right and wrong is wrong and wrong could never be right mm -hmm. and you know what wrong with people they don't like to hear the truth they don't Bajans don't like Bajans are allergic oh, to it God. yeah they are allergic to the truth if you tell me something truthful about myself or spread something truthful about me, I feel so applauded and feel so nice. Mm -hmm. Even if I don't like it. But you know what? It is the truth. And nothing can beat the truth. But Bajans like a lot of lies mm -hmm. and a lot of stuff. And Bajans can't deal with it. The yeah, they can't and handle the truth. truth. They can't handle it. John they can't handle 316 it. John 3.16 is what I brought to you this evening. John 3.16. The truth so and nothing but the truth. the people from Scarborough, and I want them to know who bring it. Fashti, all the people from Scab and all over hear me, they would know who it is that bring it. Some person that born or raised in Scab, they would know who tell. Because some people can be shamed to say this. I don't be shamed to say nothing that's the truth. Yeah, yeah. What's that word you're calling? Scar, Scar what? Scarborough. That's where Diana lives. How Scarborough. S A R B O R O? S-C-A-R-B-R-O-U-G something. Oh. <laughs> My brain and function means the right I got Scarborough. it. I got it. Scarborough. Okay. Scarborough is the gap right in front of Oyston's police station. It's a little community out there where everybody in Scarborough is family. Okay. Everybody from the littlest down to the day because I had a man from Scarborough that I got pregnant for the Lane family so everybody in Scarborough is family it's a little gap right facing the police station okay okay all in right okay well thank you so very much um we're gonna end it here no, now you're welcome <laughs> you're welcome okay uh, anything you need 
Don't be frightened. I won't. To me. I won't. I won't be afraid. I won't be afraid. I'm here. Uh -huh. and I'm going to fix them. Okay. Peace, my peace. Peace. Okay. Okay. Peace out. This is Sherry, Veronica, and Nick at Departure Radio. Help me spread the word about Naked Departure via social media. Subscribe and share to show support and love for our channels.